All right. So another sign that a man does not respect you is that he constantly takes from you but does not give. Okay? So this is kind of going piggybacking off the guy who asks for large sums of money where you have a lot of situations out there where a man is looking for a woman to leech off of, okay? And you have some men who, I'm going to be very careful with how I phrase this, (laughs) you got some men who have been coddled by their mothers growing up and never learned how to do for themselves or how to pour into someone else. And they become adult men who now are basically looking for a woman to be their new mother that they have sex with. Okay? And so they're just looking for someone that's going to do for them, do for them, do for them, but they don't honor the responsibility of having to do for her. Now, for the man who is looking for that kind of dynamic, and more specifically for the man who's just looking to take from a woman... Again, they they can be very specific about how they target certain women to be able to do that with. And so it's kind of hitting my spirit, so I want to mention this. One of the greatest deterrents of a manipulator or user is self-confidence, all right? Manipulators, users, gaslighters, they're looking for any sign of lack of self-esteem. They're looking for signs of self-doubt. They're looking for signs of desperation, all right? Because they know those are the doorways to where they can really have leverage over this woman and use her and get what they want from her. But when you present yourself as a confident woman, not arrogant, (laughs) okay? Not not being, you know, all think you better than everybody type of stuff, okay? But just confident, sure, you know, you know yourself and you can still present yourself in a positive, loving way, right? that's going to scare away or at least make it harder for that user type of guy to come your way. If anything, he'll like, this hit my spirit again, so I also have to say this. This is why you'll have some men who, if you, you know, I say how a woman who can, who exudes a lot of masculine energy and does everything for herself, that can draw a lot of leeches. Because that man views it as, I won't have to step up. She already has what she needs. If anything, she can give me things. She can stabilize my life. I don't got to do for her, right? Whereas if they see another woman who, I'm going to use the phrase, she is, she is giving off a more energy of receiving. She wants a man who can provide and do for her, and she gives off that energy. He's like, uh-uh, that's too much. I ain't got nothing to give her. <laughs> I need someone who can give to me. So let me go over here to this other woman. And, and, and that's why when you speak to, there's a lot of successful women who, when they say they're struggling to find a man, what they're really saying is um, they're struggling to find a type of man that they like and who can pour back into them. Because the line of leeches is wrapped around the corner for some of these women. All right, Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. You're experiencing this as we speak. You're not having a problem finding a bunch of Men who don't have their stuff together, but the man who actually can pour back into you, that becomes a problem. And some of that stems from the energy that you're giving off. But we won't get too deep into that. What I will simply say to get through this point is, again, if the man who's serious about you, the man who respects you, the man who cares about you, wants to pour into you. I always make the argument, even if a man is not fully financially stable or successful, He still wants to find ways to be useful to a woman he cares about, to be useful to a woman that he truly respects. Plain and simple. If he's not looking for any ways to be useful, any ways to pour back into you, but he got tons of requests, he constantly taking, and sometimes, man, I'm having a lot of hit in my spirit moments in this one, sometimes what some some of y'all are setting yourselves up because... Essentially, you're not even requiring him to make sure you're good. You're not even requiring him. Basically, you're showing up ready to do all these things. You're constantly offering. You're constantly jumping in. And he's just like, okay, I might as well just sit back and enjoy, right? But I still think that it... So some men, even if they didn't, it wasn't an issue of lack of respect, they may have have interest in you and now they see it too advantageous to not want to deal with you because... 
You're doing everything for them. Okay? But that's why I think one of the important ways to really see what he's about is to make a request. Like, put it out there that you need his help with something. Again, it doesn't have to be money. Yo, can you help take my car to the mechanic? Can you help do this? Little simple things. And if he can't even help with all these other things, what is he... I hate to say it like that, but what is he there for? <laughs> what, what is he there for? He's got to be able to provide some kind of value to your life. Real value. And not just take, 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 take. All right. Now, before we get to this next one, I want you to get your copy of my best-selling book, The Man God Has For You. It has thousands of reviews. It, tons of women have loved it. You may already have it, but you can still go to this site because there's going to be other options for you to look at. Either way, click the link below in the comments section or in the description or go to themangodhasforyou.com and definitely check it out. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. You know, one of the things I, I'm going to use the word hate to see are women in relationships with men who clearly don't respect them, who clearly don't love them. And 